and Linda Barnes taking this beautiful picture for us from the blooms that are starting to come up a little bit earlier. Also, Dale Briggs, you can see this one from the Triad area and rain coming in just the other day. And then Richard Golden sharing this beautiful shot from the area along Golden Road up in Surrey County. So gorgeous shots. We'd like to see your photographs too. Those come into us on our You Local North Carolina Facebook group page. So join us there. You can share your photos and we'll share them on the air when we can. You can see the showers out there right now exiting the region. We've been sitting in the 40s pretty much all day long. We had our highs earlier in the morning hours, right about midnight actually, and then we just started to drop into those 40s and we've been staying there with those rain showers. Winds though are becoming a little bit more southwesterly right now, even though most folks are calm right now. That's the wind shift that we need to see to begin warming you up through the day tomorrow. Morning low still expected to see uh, low 40s for you and then gradually warming into the 50s to 60s. So these highs are a little misleading. Those happened after midnight and then we dipped into the 40s and that's where we stayed most of the day. About two hundredths of an inch of rainfall in green Greensboro today. A lot of folks to the east only had these quick passing showers and not a lot of rain on the ground. Year to date though, seven inches more than that and we're above more normal by about an inch and a little bit above normal for rainfall for February as well. So typically 56 this time of the year and 35 for morning lows. So, so far we only dipped down to 45. We're forecasting 44, but of course we've been sitting in those 40s. Tomorrow, in addition to the warmth coming back with the 60s, we've got higher pollen counts. So after the rain helped to wash things down and the cool temperatures too, shutting pollen production down a little bit. We're back to seeing grasses also reporting in the low category, but high for pollen counts for trees. So look at it that 41 degrees tomorrow morning. We'll have some fog with those calm winds until the breezes pick up. It'll take us up to 57 degrees. We'll mix in some sunshine at times and gust to 25 miles an hour. Also in the foothills from about 42 degrees to near 64 for an afternoon high and temperatures are comfortable all the way through tomorrow evening. Now we do bring back the clouds overnight into your Monday morning. So tomorrow is not a perfectly full sun kind of day. We believe we'll see some sunshine, but we'll see a lot of clouds too, especially to start your day where we start out at 40 four degrees in the triad you'll warm to about 66. Nice to have a west, uh, west southwesterly flow and anywhere that does see some sunshine in full sun for an hour or two that might heat you up a little bit more. Wanted to show you this water vapor pattern. This is what we've been dealing with pretty much over the last couple of months is these streams of moisture coming in across Texas from the Pacific and rolling right over the Carolinas. And so that's kept us in a pattern for much of the southeast even of seeing a lot of rain. Uh, and it also meant that we've seen snow and rain for folks in California. You know, talk about all that snow that they're dealing with there. Now the drought concerns have actually improved a little bit for them, so they've been dropping out of the exceptional, uh, putting back into the extreme for some areas to severe. So this is an improvement, maybe not a complete cure for the drought out to the west, but it's at least we're noticing a big change with some of the weather patterns that we've seen over the last couple of months. So estimated snowfall total. Some folks have anywhere from three to four feet out there in the higher tops of the mountains from Denver back west and in California too. You're dealing with a couple of feet of snow if not more, maybe six feet in some cases. So that is causing a lot of travel delays there. We also look ahead talking about that winter pattern from the 11th through the 24th. We're expecting temperatures to drop below normal. So these are our percentage chances to see temperatures that could be cooler than average. And as we get you closer to March and spring beginning, we're typically getting closer to the 60s. So hopefully it won't be too big of a drop in temperatures for us, but there is going to be a cool down and that's typical for middle of March. We'll see a last hurrah of cool air before the warmth begins. Overall, March March, April and May altogether do look to run us above normal. We will take that maybe some 70s and 80s with the low humidity. That would be fabulous more of the year, but 66 degrees on your Sunday. Monday, we're back to rain chances at 50%. That's an impact day and so is Friday as we have another cool down coming temperatures back into the low to mid 50s, but we're dry next Saturday. At least we have the sunshine.